everyone. Earlier in the show, Carson Arthur helped us tackle tree pruning. He is back again, this time with all the fall garden prep that will help your plants thrive next spring. So Carson, where do we start, my friend? Well, let's start with bringing the indoor plants that were outside back indoors. So this is a perfect example. This is a little bonsai tree that I had on my picnic table for the entire summer and it's done great, but it is covered in little aphids and scale. I do not want those bugs in my house. So there's a couple of things we're gonna do to treat this plant before we bring it inside. The first thing is we're gonna make some insecticidal soap. Now insecticidal soap is literally just water and dish soap. You want 750 milliliters of water to one tablespoon of an all-purpose dish soap, preferably not antibacterial. Now, pro tip here, fill the water in the bottle first before you add the dish soap because then it won't foam up and you lose some of the effectiveness. In this case, I've already got it ready. So what we wanna do is we're gonna spray down all of the leaves. And if you can, spray underneath as well. Get it all down inside of there. Now, this is going to actually stop the insects because on contact, this kills off most of the soft-bodied insects. But there are a few creepy crawlies that will also come in and they often come in with the roots. And I'm gonna lift this plant up here and show you. In the roots here, you'll often get earwigs or mealybugs. So what I like to do is I use a product called diatomaceous powder. Now this is just ground seashells. It will not hurt the plant, but by doing a dusting like this, when the hard-bodied insects come in contact with it, they desiccate, they dry out, they die off. The final step that you wanna do for your indoor plants is you're gonna get a clear garbage bag, you're gonna put the plant in there, you're gonna bag it up for three days. That keeps the moisture wet longer so the insects have more chance to come in contact with it. After three days, bring the plant straight into your house, bug free. Carson, I just have to find someone to actually open that plastic bag after three days. Because if there's earwigs in there, <laughs> I, I, I have to move. Like, I can't even. I can't with the earwigs. Yeah. That's so good, though. Okay, so three days, get all those bugs out, bring those plants inside. What about the plants we have in our outdoor planters? Can we, what can we do with them? Well, some of them are definitely salvageable. Now, believe it or not, this planter here was gorgeous all summer long. I wish he had taken a picture of it. I had fantastic dahlias in it. There's one last bloom there. But as you can see, it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take up a lot of the plants. Now, in this case, I'm gonna free this dahlia up. There's the root right there. Looks a little gnarly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all of the soil from the root. We're going to actually cut the stem off the dahlia like that. Now this is going into a paper bag. So we're gonna put it right in here like that. On top of the root, I like to throw in dry straw. Now the straw helps absorb all the moisture. The moisture is what will kill off the root in the winter months. This bag with the straw and all the dollies in it go into the basement or a dark cool room for the entire winter. Don't bring them out until March or April timing approximately. Plant them up and off they'll grow again. And that works for canna lilies. You can do the same thing for your geraniums. You can save lots of your plants this way. Just force them into dormancy and don't forget about the straw. That is critical. Okay, these are incredible tips. I love that. Okay, lastly, uh, the bulbs. Do our bulbs need to come out of, gr out of the ground this time of year? Yeah, there's a big misconception, especially around specific bulbs like tulips and daffodils. They should stay in the ground all year long. But when it comes to some of your more tender plants like gladiolas, which have been really popular, these bulbs will not survive over the winter in the ground. So we've got to remove them. We're going to do it almost the exact same way. We're going to cut the bulbs off, save any of the leaves if you want, put them in your composter, and we're going to put them in a paper bag with some more straw. There's one small thing I want to point out to you. Some of your bulbs are going to start forming little babies. These are called cormlets or little cormels. They are actually baby bulbs for next year. Even though you're putting them into a dormant state, those little baby bulbs are great for next year too. So make sure you save those. Don't remove them from your plant. Once you've got them in the paper bag, again, we're going to put lots of straw in there. It's very important to keep it as dry as possible. Cool, dark spot and we are set to go. Easy breezy, and you shouldn't have any insects because you cleaned off all the soil around the roots beforehand. What a great way to save us some money as well so that spring comes around and you don't have to buy everything fresh again. You can save what you can. Carson, thank you so much for that. My pleasure. Thanks, Tracy. So good to have Carson always. Time for a quick break, everyone. We'll be right back. Stay with us.